I want to introduce you to something really special. So join with me as we go through the tour of our 2021 Jayco Pinnacle 32 RLTN. Shoes off required for entry, but welcome to our 2021 Pinnacle 32 RLTS. Now this is the exact same model, only in a contemporary uh, finish and a few uh, minor changes that we really wanted when we were initially looking and ended up with the 2019. Some of the newer features on this um, fifth wheel include things like being able to use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to control the entire tra trailer systems, lights, generator, um, AC, heat, all outdoor lights, awnings, slides, all of that. So um, that's a really nice feature. And let's take a tour. This is our dinette area. Again, this folds into, or this uh, becomes a, a table for four. It slides out. We put this uh, on it to protect the finish. So we have um, the day shades for the sun, as well as the blackout shades. Contemporary styling on the valance is really nice. Same sort of setup here as our 2019 storage over here. Storage in the chairs. These chairs actually um, clip down for travel, so that's nice. One great feature on this trailer that they did away with in 2020 was the carpet in the uh, dining area. So it's a seamless floor, uh, which makes it really nice. They also did away with the cabinets up here um, and made one or two windows that look almost like one from the outside. So a little bit larger window area opens it up a little bit more brighter. Here's our recliners or movie uh, seat style chairs. They have a USB in them that's nice so you can sit here and charge a device while you're uh, relaxing. It's all automated, open, close, massage, and also um, heated. They have storage in here for the remotes. That's a nice feature. So Jayco Pinnacle in the 2020 began putting these little modules in all over the trailer. And what's nice about that is they function differently depending on where you are. So this controls, you can control all of these functions from sitting here. And again, these are um, spread out throughout the trailer depending on what area you are in will allow you to control various features, lights, that sort of thing from right where you're sitting. It's a really nice feature. Our 2019 had the drop down Euro bunk up here. This does not house the cabinets. So sorry if you want to join along for <laughs> a camping trip. We do have a tent though, but um, this does make into a queen size bed. So one nice feature they added in this trailer was room here on the sides. So they utilizing and making good uh, sp space in every area that they can. LED lighting all around, accent lighting, we have a ceiling fan, very modern and contemporary styling. They call this, um, uh, the coloring is, I can't remember the term for it, but it's a, a gray um, accent tone with uh, dark brown. Our TV this time is electric with a window behind it. Sound system with a subwoofer here as well as the electric fireplace. I don't have it on right now because it's hot in here and also I'm not hooked up to um, uh, shore power. So we have 
we really are excited about this, a convection oven, convection microwave oven, and then our four burner stove and oven is just beautiful. Storage here. Coming to this side. Storage with built-ins. Again, these are all soft clothes. Have this nice double storage here. I really like that drawer. One nice feature they did in the 2020 was and above was move the stove this way. Uh, my 2019, the stove comes up here, so now we're able to utilize space on both sides here. And storage up here, up above the microwave, and again, more storage here. Swinging around behind me to the island, Beautiful waterfall design. I guess that's what they call that sink. Or endless sink. I'm not quite sure what they call it. This already had a water um, filtration system installed in it. Basically, this pumps to the... Um, there's a five-gallon container in the garage underneath. And so you can fill it with whatever water you like. And then it runs to this as well as the ice maker in the refrigerator. And I'm very excited that Jayco finally did this. A built-in place for your garbage can. On this side of the island, this is a really cool feature. This pulls out. And then we have like a huge cutting board that sits here. Uh, if you're going to have... A party or people over for holidays just expands the island in your workspace. This is a really nice feature underneath here. They chose to put in a pull-out drawer. And then here is an item, an area for larger, taller items. This is a, the pump right here to turn on the fresh water supply. And then here we have the USB and power port. I did not think that I wanted a residential refrigerator and this, let me tell you, is my favorite feature of the entire coach. So um, I love this refrigerator. I'm going to open it up and then give you a nice view of it. It's not on, obviously, right now, but this thing runs amazing. And I must say it's probably nicer than our refrigerator in the house, or just as nice. But look at that. Freer, freezer on the bottom, refrigerator on the top. I put in these um, cool... I found these at, actually, Walmart, and I just secured them with, um, like, earthquake uh, putty. But... This is a Lazy Susan, and then these drawers, and they're clear so I can see what's in them, and I put felt on the bottom so as not to scratch here, but you can see this is um, a temperature uh, control, and it basically connects to my Jayco app, and so I, from anywhere that I'm at uh, on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I can see what's going on with the refrigerator, the temperature in the refrigerator. And like I said, that is something that I wanted when we got the 2019. It wasn't available. And so um, this trailer has features like that that I can control from my phone. And I love that. So our pantry. Nice big window on it. And this is motion censored lighting. So good size pantry. Coming over here, we're probably going to leave this area um, and put our coffee maker over here. Um, however, on our last uh, pinnacle, we had the coffee maker here, so I'm not quite sure. This is kind of like a coffee bar area, but nice storage space up here. Some 
Same place, the converter and breaker boxes down here. And more storage. So I've lined all of these cabinets with uh, this, you know, non-stick or non-slip uh, padding that you can get at TJ Maxx Home Goods or Target, Walmart, that sort of thing. Before we head into the other room, uh, I wanted you to notice the carpet we put down. Just two runners. They matched perfectly. We found them actually at Costco and they matched perfectly. So we think it looks good and it helped protect the floors a bit. Here's my control panel. And I love everything is digital on here and I'm going to go make a video of this in the future the J command system um, but that's where I can control everything from the slides to the jacks to lighting and it's got all these different functions to it and I will go through that then the max air vent which is right up here our solar install will be coming soon and then this is our for our, uh, we have a tankless water uh, heater on this and was not sure how we felt about it, but after having it, we love it so far. So uh, I will give a further review of that. Um, some people like them, some people don't. So far experiences like we love it. Here's uh, my control box for the inverter. And then down here, we have the same as my other pinnacle, the, um, central back and a toe kick plate we installed the same bar grab handle and let's come up into the spa <laughs> so I love this bathroom this was a selling feature when we initially looked at the pinnacle this was one of the features that made me want this fifth wheel and um, what we had in the 2019 was beautiful, but it was not the same. This is exactly what I wanted, and it just is really beautiful. In fact, they've created this so it's not much of a step. It's almost a walk-in shower, a nice teak uh, bench to sit on, a towel rack up here like you'd find in a nice hotel, skylight above, and then the glass doors really open this area up and make it appear brighter or bigger even one thing we lost was a cabinet door here and this is actually something we've done a modification on i will go over that in a future video we did install a bidet on this this has the same sliding pocket door you just release it here and it slides onto a magnet here and closes. I'll try not to be in the video in the mirror. We got a cabinet space there. And then a cool place to hide the toilet paper. Coming into the bedroom and you are gonna get a peek of me in the <laughs> door here. But one reason we we're looking to upgrade is this area right here is much wider. I have a much deeper slide on this fifth wheel on the 2021 than we did on the 2019 and it creates maybe even three more feet here uh, wider. So we love the ability now to have this space here, easy access to the closet. So that was a really big selling point for us to upgrade. Full king size bed. And this is a nice feature, a window behind the bed. We did not have that in the 2019. And it is, let me tell you, wonderful to wake up in the morning and be able to see outside like that. It, it really brings the outdoors inside and makes you feel like you're camping, which is what I am about. <laughs> Larger windows on the sides. Again, here's one of those modules where you can control different features throughout the, the house. Same sort of TV setup. Cabinets on both sides. A surprise hidden feature we love is this. Pops up 
and there's a place for jewelry or whatnot. But we like that feature. We did not have that before. Drawers. And then coming over here to the closet. This is a motion censored closet. Again, they arranged it differently. Cedar line closet, but now they've broken it up into two sides, which is nice. It's also plumbed for washer and dryer. And if we look over here on this side, this is a really nice feature over here. There's plugs, USB, as well as, thank you, Jayco, a built-in hamper for our laundry. Again, a another side shoe, um, spot for shoes or hats, that sort of thing, and cedar lined. There are some features in here that I will go into more detail in a future video, but for now, that is the interior of our 2021 Pinnacle 32 RLTS. Come join me for an outside tour. Taking a look now at the outside of the Jayco Pinnacle 32 RLTS. We've got almost one big window here. It's actually two windows, but they look the same. And then the outdoor TV. Again, step above Morite steps. So these are like anti-gravity steps. Here's the outdoor speakers. I have a spray port right here to connect a water spray port to, or water hose. The vac, this is on the passenger side, on the, uh, the camping side. Here's where uh, the central vac is, the vacuum cleaner bag. And then I've installed this one of my favorite options or features more i thank you a slide out tray and this comes out quite far um, to better utilize the space back behind there i'm getting too old to crawl back in there the 2021 comes with 40 gallon propane tanks three of them it's really set up and equipped nicely i have the more ride um, Pin box here, it's covered right now with a cover on it. Um, and then here is the uh, front of the trailer, the storage area. I have two lithium batteries connected right now in preparation for my solar. This is prepped for a generator. That generator that is in there is not the generator that it would be prepped for, but it is prepped for it. And then here is the hydraulics system for the jacks. Coming around to the driver's side. Two more 40 gallon tank, propane tanks, as well as your on and off for the entire trailer is in here. Disconnect switch. The wet bay area. What's nice in the 2020-21 is they made these motion sensor lights. So this is my entire garage from the opposite side. So that Moride tray pulls out that way. And then Jayco again, they do this great wet bay area. Here is the jack system. It's an equalizer system. Um, the 2019 had Lippert system. From my understanding, this is much uh, hardier, it is stronger uh, so far. Uh, I'm impressed with it. It's handled well, um, but the 2019 was a Lippert water filtration system right here. This is the Fogati tankless hot water system. This RV is prepped for a macerator in here, which I do not have. There's where I would dump my tanks. Access here to the back of the residential refrigerator. And coming around to the back, so 50 amp electric cord reel here. Just push of a button. 
Uh, it's pretty bright out right now, but I have the Furion backup camera. You can see it up there. Beautiful end cap on this. I have an accessory hitch that's been um, reinforced so I could tow a small trailer behind it actually if I wanted to. And then I did install with the Furion backup camera. I have side cameras and I will show you that really quick. They're mounted right here. Right there. I'll show you a view from the front. Awnings are electric. That is a quick overview of the 2021 32 RLTS. Hope you enjoyed it and I will go into more detail on some of the other features in a later video. See you.